masks are really useful in Adobe SD because with masks you can create all of these different elements you can hide different elements and you can position them however you want inside of your page so if you go back to Adobe XD and I'm going to actually ungroup this from the previous example that we created using the repeat grid like this and what I want to do is actually yeah let's delete this all together what I want to do is click T type in just a few words and then go back to here choose this one I want to choose a rectangle position it like so and I'm going to double click right here to call it BTN for the button and I'm going to move it right here then I'm going to select these two position this and this like so and finally for the text I want to make sure it's center aligned and finally I'm going to type in learn more right here what you can do with this is for example this is our button I want to apply this color this is going to be let's say white and I'm going to go right here to my colors and let's uncheck all of these filters so click right here and I'm going to once again rename call it white like so and I'm going to select these two hit ctrl G to group it and call it BTN what I can do at this point is I can hit Control D to duplicate this button. I'm going to call it mask and I'm going to position it right here. So just above so that you cannot see the text anymore. And then I'm going to hold shift to select all of them. Then hit shift Control M. As you can see, nothing really changed. We now just have this mask and inside the mask we have all of the elements like so. But if I click on my text and position it outside, you cannot see it so if I change it to some wild color because it's white on white if I change it to red for example inside of a mask you can see it so you can play around with it you can position it however you want like this but when you click outside of your mask you cannot see the learn word anymore because once again it's inside of a mask as you can see this is really useful especially if you try to hide sections of your images if you're try to hide uh, for example portions of your buttons for animation if you're hiding a calendar let's say inside of a tap point so when users tap there the entire calendar is going to expand that's why masks are really useful and that's why in majority of these cases you will have to use masks in Adobe XD to achieve these results. You can right click ungroup mask if you want to and it's going to show all of the elements once again. So in order to see the text now when I click right here delete this if I change it back to red because I want to show you the whole point. When you click on it hold shift and position it like we did before. When I click outside it's still there because it's not masked. That's why masks are really useful because you can really mask that content and play around with it, position it however you want. And you can also use masks if at any point you want to show or hide how the users see your content. So for example, if you want to show some elements at a certain stage of a scroll, let's say, then you can show masks at that different point. But especially if you're trying to do animations, so from one artboard to another artboard, from one state to another state, then these masks are really crucial because they are going to help you achieve that. In the next video, we're going to work with components. So I'll see you there.